Okay, I'm going to show you some simple setup. Uh, basically, what you should do in your Final Cut Pro or Final Cut Express to make sure everything is set up correctly, your settings are all right. So here I've opened up Final Cut Pro. There's currently no project open because there's no, there's no windows here. I want to, first thing, very first thing you should do is go to Easy Setup. So you click here, not on File, you click on Final Cut Pro. You go down to Easy Setup. And this is kind of how you select what kind of video you're editing. If you're editing standard definition video, like um, DV video from one of the Panasonics uh, or uh, you know normal tape video camera, then you would set this up for, you would go here to NTSC and uh, NTSC, DV NTSC, you know. And that sets here all of the defaults for um, your DV video camera, you hit setup, and now this has adjusted all of the settings in Final Cut Pro to work for your um, the settings of your video camera. Myself, I shoot an HD, so I would go to easy setup, format, HD, and the format that I shoot in is HDV 1080i60. That's my settings. So. Um, I'll set it back to that. So first thing you do is always make sure that that has been set. If you shoot, if you constantly are changing back and forth between DV and HDV, you have to remember to set that. So that's the first thing. The next thing we're going to do is go to System Settings. Now uh, this is where you set your scratch disk and stuff. Now if you're if if you don't have an external hard drive, just leave everything as the defaults. It, it's already set a folder for your scratch disk and everything, and don't worry about that. Myself, because I keep my uh, raw video on a separate external hard drive, I went here to set, and I um, selected my uh, Final Cut Pro Documents folder, and I set that for everything. Now. What, the one last thing that you should set here is limit capture segment size to and put it to 4000 megs. The reason we do that is because we're going to be archiving our raw video to a server and then we burn it onto DVDs. So just to make life simple, keep it at 4000 megs because a, a single layer DVD can hold about 4.3 gigs and so making it so that the largest video clip you capture is four, about four gigs will just save the IT guys a lot of time um, and makes it so they don't have to chop up your videos. Uh, if, say, you have a video that's going to be a clip that's going to be longer than 4,000 megabytes, all it does is it, it breaks it up automatically. So you don't really have to worry. So just set this at, this at 4,000 and hit OK. The one last little thing you should probably change, go here to user preferences go here to editing the default for a still frame duration is 10 seconds change that to 3 seconds otherwise every photo you, imp you import will be 10 seconds long and you'll have to be resizing them or like changing them and everything so just user preferences editing change this to 3 seconds that will just save you a little time um, and I think another little thing here is uh, go to timeline options and say show audio waveform. That just makes it so that you can see the audio uh, a little bit better in your timeline. So hit OK there. And now uh, those are just the simple little things that a lot of people forget that you should set up, especially easy setup, to get Final Cut all ready um, for editing.